What would you do if you found out that your life was a lie? When this teen went to apply to college, he never imagined that he would discover a horrible secret about his life. So let's dive into the story of the teen who solved his own missing person case when he had no idea he was missing. It all started when JJ, a senior at Cleveland High School, began applying for college in 2015. He noticed that his applications kept being sent back and decided to go to his guidance counselor for help. The two soon realized what the problem was. JJ's name did not match his social security number. This was really weird, but it did not prepare them for what they were about to discover. During their search for the issue, they came across a missing persons poster from 2002, which showed a five-year-old boy that looked a lot like JJ. The boy had been missing for 13 years, and his name was Julian Hernandez. But the strangest thing was the details matched those of JJ, and the man who was said to have taken him was none other than his dad. So how was that even possible? As JJ and the school counselor continued to dig into this, they discovered a horrible secret that would change JJ's life. It looked like JJ was Julian Hernandez. He was born on March 31st, 1997 in Birmingham, Alabama, and was a bubbly and sweet boy with chubby cheeks and a contagious smile. He loved fishing, watching movies, and eating at Chuck E. Cheese. We don't know his mother's name, but what we know is that she was 19 years old and a college student when she had Julian. His dad's name was Bobby Hernandez. He was several years older than Julian's mom, probably in his mid-30s, and a Navy veteran. He lived in the same apartment complex as Julian's mom, and the two were in a relationship but later broke up. On August 28, 2002, when Julian was five years old, his mom had gone out to run some errands while his dad was left to babysit. However, instead of babysitting, Bobby took some of Julian's clothes and toys, withdrew all his money, and left with Julian. Julian's mom was horrified when she came back and could not find her son. A note had been left behind saying that Bobby had taken Julian. She was completely devastated and she went and reported her son's disappearance to the police. Authorities started by checking Bobby's house, work, and all the places he usually hung out, but he and Julian were nowhere to be found. They distributed posters of little Julian around the town, hoping that someone might have seen the two, but nothing came up. Rumors started spreading that Bobby might be hiding out in Florida, but when authorities went there to check, they could not find him. Tips came in from different corners of the country and the police followed each one of them, but none panned out. Months and years went by without success, and Julian's heartbroken mom started thinking that she would never see her son again. Over the years, new missing persons posters were drawn up with an age progression image of Julian and his father. Meanwhile, Julian was living in a different state under the name of JJ, while his dad went by the name of Jonathan Mangina. He knew nothing about his mother other than what his dad told him, that his mom had abandoned him. This must have been very devastating for him, and he probably grew up hating her. But Despite all this, Julian lived a normal life, completely unaware of his dad's dark secret. He got good grades in school, played sports, and hoped to go to college. So now, seeing himself in the missing person database was something that he was completely unprepared for. He could not believe that his dad had been lying to him all along, and that 13 years of his life were nothing but a big lie. On September 26, 2002, just before everything was exposed to the media, an anonymous Reddit user who was believed to be Julian, wrote this on Reddit. Sometime between the ages of three and five, my dad took me against a court order away from my mother without even me knowing this. He changed my name and SSN and did something similar for himself. I have lived my entire life up until a few days ago, oblivious to this fact. He then went on to say that he was not angry with his dad and that he still loved him, even after learning everything. His main concern was how he could correct his school records with his real name and social security number and still have time to apply for scholarships for college. He also wanted to keep his dad out of trouble. My father has done his best to deal with the mistakes he has made and he clearly regrets them. He had raised me well. I wouldn't have done so well in school without his pressure. When someone asked him if he remembered anything about his mother, he said the only thing he remembered was 
was that she was young. I remember that she was still young at the time, probably early 20s. See, my mom and dad had a deal that if they broke up, my dad would take me, but my dad got a call from a judge ordering him to return me to my mother, and that's when he decided to run. The post has since been deleted, and there's no way of verifying if it was really Julian who wrote it. Though, everything about it just points to the fact that it could have been him. Now, Julian's dad was later arrested and charged with several counts of kidnapping, tampering with records, and forgery. When his mom learned that her son had been found, she couldn't believe it. She had gotten her hopes up so many times and had been disappointed over the years that she now wondered whether this time would be different, and it was. She later released a statement saying, Our family was overjoyed this week to locate Julian and learn that he is safe. We want to thank everyone for their prayer and support during Julian's disappearance. During the sentencing hearing, the prosecutor described Bobby as a con man who led his son to believe that his mother abandoned him, which was not true. He said Bobby threatened to take the boy away from his mom if she ever broke up with him, asking the judge to give him a heavy sentence for depriving his son of a relationship with his mother. While Julian's mother was in court though, she asked the media not to take her picture. Her lawyer read an emotional statement on her behalf, describing the moment she realized that her little boy was gone. I didn't know if he was gone forever. As the sun went down that night and it started to get dark, I wondered about him. Where was he? As the days turned into weeks, she got into a deep depression and could no longer eat or sleep. All she could do was think about finding her son. I stopped sleeping and eating. For months I stayed on a friend's couch because I couldn't bear to be in the apartment that we had shared. At that moment, she just wanted to die and even considered taking her own life. I wanted to die. I understand now that only God got me through. That's just so heartbreaking, guys. It's something that no parent should ever have to go through. The lawyer also read a statement by Julian's maternal grandmother. She called Bobby an angry, controlling, and vengeful person. Bobby Hernandez kidnapped him because he wanted to get even with Julian's mother for leaving him. This is not a sign of a good father. She asked the court to give Bobby a sentence that was as long as their pain and suffering had been. Even so, when Julian stood up to speak, he begged the judge not to send his father to jail, saying that he was a good father and that he had forgiven him for what he did. Even though everyone wants to talk about all the bad things he's done and doesn't think it's possible to forgive somebody for something like this, I think that he's done a lot of good he said that sending his dad to prison would just add to the pain he felt when he was away from his mother. And yes, growing up without my mother was painful at times, but taking my father away from me now is, just increases the pain from that. And then the judge asked him if his dad ever told him about his mother, and his answer was just heartbreaking. I didn't really care. My father was there and he was all I ever needed. Now. I'm sure that Julian was confused and just wanted to get his dad out of trouble, but I know that that statement really broke his mom's heart. When it was time for him to speak, Bobby broke down in tears and apologized to Julian and his mom for everything he put them through. I offer my apologies to my son and to his mother and her family. Normally, such charges would fetch a minimum sentence of 54 years in prison, but the judge decided to give Bobby four years in prison, followed by five years of supervised release. But before handing her sentence, the judge described the crime as a mother's nightmare. This case is a, uh, a mother's nightmare. No question about it. Bobby did try to get an early release from prison in 2017 after only serving a year of his four-year sentence. There's no information whether he succeeded or not. Julian was reunited with his mom. Although we also don't have details about how it all went down, you can imagine how emotional it must have been. This case is truly heartbreaking, and I do feel bad for Julian. He grew up thinking that his mom didn't care about him, and just when he learned to live with it, he found out that the only person he trusted in the entire world was lying to him. That must have been a huge 
huge blow. I can see him torn between supporting the man who raised him or the woman who gave birth to him, and he probably craved for all of his life. But the person who really suffered from all of this was Julian's mom. She went through unimaginable pain for 13 years, not knowing whether her son was dead or alive. Every holiday and birthday was a constant reminder of what she had lost. And the fact that she never asked the judge to give Bobby a heavy sentence for what he had put her through just shows the kind of person she was. This guy wronged her in every way possible. She would never be able to get back the 13 years that she had lost in her son's life. Yet when she had a chance to condemn him, she didn't. She knew that despite her pain, her son still loved his dad and needed him in his life. So she took the high road and decided to leave everything to the judge. That's admirable. Now, I won't deny that Bobby loved Julian and was a good father to him, but his actions were just selfish and malicious. He knew that taking Julian away from his mom would devastate a lot of people, including his own son, yet he went ahead. He said that he was afraid of losing his son, yet he put Julian's mom through the same kind of pain that he was afraid of. I don't know about you guys, but I think he deserved the sentence he got, or maybe more. I know that putting him in jail would not bring back the lost years, but it would serve as a warning to anyone else who is thinking of committing such a heartless thing. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you like this video, watch out for the next one. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.